Cancer, what's going on? So I'm gonna pull some cards and get a message out for you, Cancer. I definitely do hope that the messages resonate for you. And overall, I hope that the messages are useful. And with that being said, we're just gonna jump right into your video, Cancer, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right off the bat, you got the Eight of Wands coming out. You got the Hangman, you have the Six of Swords as well. Messages for Cancer. You have the Sun, you also do have the Temperance. Some Fire Sun energy out here. Leo, Sagittarius, you also got Pisces. Messages for Cancer. You also have the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Wands, Cancer, okay? What's this four swords? You can have a lot on your mind, Cancer. Um, nothing necessarily feels like it's bad. It's more so of like what's to come, I guess you could say, with the four four is something you don't want to think about, actually. <laughs> 44 could be of importance, I guess. Um, okay, that threw me. What's the four of swords and the four of cups? With the two of cups, it could be about a person or like a friendship. Okay, that could be someone who, I won't say it's constantly on your mind, but it's someone you're trying to get off of your mind, someone you're trying to not think about or like get downloads about or hear about. What's this page of pentacles? Messages for cancer. You got the page of cups, yeah. Is someone who you could possibly feel like is like literally not as important anymore with the with the devil and the hangman? I don't know. There's some sort of like strong tie you have with whoever this person is, though, whether you kind of like it or not, whether you whatever. Um, it definitely does feel like this is someone who could be like a past, like past life soulmate, past, like I'm going to be honest, it's one flame to you is someone of importance though is someone who is meant to teach you some sort of lesson um it feels like a very harsh one um it feels like it's one that pertains to like different dynamics whether this is a friend i'm gonna be honest with you um because not everything is really about love um sometimes when i read the cards out it could just really mean like you have a deep care for this person you grew up with this person um you, the two of you have a mutual understanding you, it's just a le it's someone that you did you have to learn a very harsh lesson and it, again it doesn't have to be harsh but it's 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 very prominent um is a lesson you won't forget, honestly, as well. What's this lovers and the devil with the world and the five of swords, with the five of wands and the queen of cups? Um, and I definitely do feel like it's pertaining to like your emotions um, and kind of like believing in your intuition. You get what I'm saying? When to start a cycle with someone and especially when to end one as well. You get what I'm saying? Because sometimes we stay in a repetitive cycle with somebody because of how much we care about them, how much time we put into a situation what we gave to the situation etc etc and i definitely do feel like you're about to be hit honestly with some sort of like test um which kind of questions like how much do you kind of like believe in your own intuition how much do you believe in kind of like yourself to make the right decision you get what i'm saying like yes you've known this person for a long time you could care about this person but is this person right for you do they care about you the way you care about them do they care for you what are they showing you they care like what are what is forget everything else for five seconds you get what i'm saying forget the intuition the discernment don't forget it forget it but forget it for this quick second what is your eyes showing you right now and then you start to you start making your decisions about ending a friendship or a relationship what is your eyes showing you what is what is somebody telling you open up your ears what do you hear you get what i'm saying do you hear i love you every time you see them in your part are you arguing every time you you see them in your part like what what is your eyes and your ears telling you over your intuition and your discernment? It's kind of something like that. It's almost like it's time to tap into all of them all together, all literally all at once, and then go off and do 
what you feel like is best for you. But if there's something cancer with some, a friendship, a lover, it's someone you care for. There's a deep bond with the lovers and the, the, the devil. Like it's almost, it's, it could even be codependent. I want to be really honest with you. It could even be a situation that is very codependent, but I definitely do feel like you're about to not hit a bump in the road to meaning like it's going to be the end of the world, but it's, it's more of a thing to where your strength is about to be tested. You get what I'm saying? It's like, do you love yourself enough? Um, 10, yeah, a completion, 55 also can be of importance, but it's almost like, yeah, I, it's just like, do you love yourself enough? Um, do you trust yourself enough as well to believe in what you're seeing, what you're hearing, how you're feeling as well. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, with the four of wands, and it definitely could be pertaining to a relationship as well, like an actual relationship. What's this sign? Oh, boy. With the Knight of Cups. What's this sign in the Knight of Cups? Whoa. What's this sign in the Knight of Cups? We got the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. 88 can be of importance as well. You got fixed sign energy, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. What's the Eight of Cups? You have the star, and you have the queen, heavy um, Aquarius energy with the star and the Queen of Swords. I definitely do feel like cancer whatever whatever you are going to whatever is going to be exposed to i definitely do feel like ultimately you're going to choose to heal um but the ten of swords let me see what is going on what's the um star and the queen of swords yeah with the chariot your yeah, energy cancer i definitely do feel like with the, with the seven of swords i cancer i would be care i don't know what is happening here I don't know what is happening here, um, but I definitely do, at least to say f for warning purposes, and this could have already transpired, um, I feel like you're about to get out of Dodge when it comes to something or someone. It feels like it's more of a someone. I feel like, unfortunately, there could be a potential someone who you put a lot of trust in, okay? You could have known this person. Again, this person could have been a friend. You could have known them since you were a kid. This I don't, I'm not getting more of a family matter, but this could even be a family member. You get what I'm saying? A cousin, a sibling. Um, there's some sort of dynamic bond that you're going to be like aware of. Like there's some sort of lesson that you're about to learn when it comes to close ones, how much you should trust somebody, how much faith you should put in somebody, um, how much you should be helping somebody. Like you're about to learn an extremely powerful lesson when it pertains to bonds and partnerships, okay? And how much you should give to them, okay? Because with, especially with the star, and the Queen of Swords, the person could be an Aquarius, but I am getting that to more of your energy. I feel like you were giving too much of yourself to a situation to where somebody definitely was trying to trying to take advantage of that in you, especially that light. Okay, what's the Seven of Swords with the Hierophant? Mm -hmm. The King of Pen. Yeah, this person could be a Taurus or a Virgo. Shit, any Earth sign as well. But yeah, it's something also with your spirit, your spirituality. Okay, yeah, Cancer, you're very, um, you can have earth signs in your chart, any earth sign, but it's something with you being very, very um, not stable, not earthy. That's just too childish. <laughs> um, you're right over there. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? I guess you could, I'll use connected, okay? Because back to with the Queen of Swords and the stars, like you have a light about you that someone, someone was really trying to drain you. 
Okay, and I definitely, again, you could have already, this could have already transpired. You could still be dealing with it, whatever, whatever timeline you're on. Um, and if not, whenever you see this, I, be prepared because I think it is going to hit you kind of off guard and you're going to be confused as to why and it's the end of the day. You have a light about you. Um, you have a very spiritual essence about you as well. That is, it feels like it's very warm. Um, again, it's very earth-like. It's, it's, it's very warm. It's very inviting. Um, someone looks at you as someone who knows all the answers. Someone was definitely using you, it feels like, for that as well. Excuse me, as well. Um, could have been for money. Doesn't have to be, but there's... Mm, mm, mm. With the Seven of Swords... Like, I don't know how... Like, you look... You made someone look very, very good with the Nine of Swords. Like, them being a connection to you, knowing you... For some, somehow, you made them look trustworthy is basically what I want to say. What's the King of Pentacles, Hierophant, and the, the, yeah, with the Four of Wands? Like, you made someone else look good, no matter if it was a friend or family or whatever. Like, and this is somebody who people know that they cannot trust. With the Ten of Pentacles, especially with the Lovers and the Devil, was almost like, yeah, like, yeah, you made somebody look really, really good. Really good on paper. With them being around you and in your energy, you made them, again, look very trustworthy, friendly. When... People who really know whoever this person is, if it's resonating for you, people know who this person isn't like any good. Like if you were with someone in that energy, like a, of like very codependent or like even borderline like toxic, like people were questioning why you were with them or why you were friends with them or like <laughs> you had people really questioning like, but people who knew whoever you were connected to, like even if this was like family, they were confused as to why the two of you, I guess you could say was like close or you know, or why you still chose to hang around them, or this is, you know, some like a boyfriend, a girlfriend, um, people on in their family, or they even their own friends were like really surprised that someone, I want to say as nice as you, as pure as you, as given as you, was kind of like entertaining them. Like, why is Cancer like, he's too good, she's too good. Why are they dealing with like, don't you cheat or don't you, aren't you this, that, and it? Like, you had people questioning, <laughs> Yeah, a lot when it came to you, which is none of their business, but yeah. It was more so how did this how did someone like the person that you were with attracted someone like you? Like you were definitely possibly polar opposites from someone as well. What's the six of swords? With the strength and you got the moon, you have the three of swords as well. And you got the four of yeah. And I don't feel like you were fully aware of this with the moon. I feel like there is a situation to where, again, you got Leo energy, Cancer, Pisces. What's this for, Pentacles? Yeah, with the Six of Cups. I don't know. Like, I would be very just, because I definitely do feel like Cancer, something's going to hit you a little hard because of some sort of memories. Like, you're going to want to hold on to something, but it feels like it's a someone when I feel like you're being pulled in a different direction that someone cannot, unfortunately, they can't come with you. They can't sit with us, okay? Um, and I definitely do feel like with the moon, it's not even giving me like, oh, there's secrets. It's giving me like an overflow of emotion with this moon. I'm not even gonna hold you with the four cups. Like you're not really gonna wanna speak or speak about a certain situation. Like I definitely do feel like something's gonna hit you pretty, pretty hard. Um, you got Leo energy again, Cancer or Pisces, okay? And it's because of how long you're going to know somebody. What's the moon? Or like, again, memories. I'm sorry, the hangman, you got the Knight of Swords. What's the hangman and the Knight of Swords? You got the King of Swords. Whoa. You have the King of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. What's the King of Swords for Cancer? You have the Justice and you have the Two of Swords. And what's this Three of Pentacles? You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. What?
What's the two of swords? What's the two of swords? You have the Empress. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. You got Taurus Libra energy out here. You could have a baby's dad, a baby's mother, just flip it however. Oh boy. I don't know if someone's gonna end up going to like court for a child with the page of wands or just court in general um, to split up assets. I feel like someone's going to, mm -mm. but I feel like I don't want anyone to hear this and be like, oh, this is sad. It's, it's, it is, but it isn't because I definitely do feel like someone's being pushed in a whole different direction that they kept trying to avoid. Like, it's almost, again, it's almost like talking to or reading out a situation to where, say if we were on FaceTime and it was a situation to where you could know the person I'm with just isn't right for me or they're treating me wrong or you know I could do better and I'm choosing to stay blind. This is what that feels like. <laughs> This is what that feels like. And I feel like it's one of those situations where the divine God, the universe gave someone, I, I am kind of talking to you if it resonates, but is giving you, gave you so many chances and signs to move away from a situation or a person that was not good for you before something blew up in your face. And it's almost like whatever they were trying to avoid from you from seeing, experiencing, hearing, finding out about, the fact that someone is still intertwined with this person, place, or thing that they know is not good for you, all hell is about to break loose, is what it feels like. Like, I don't know if someone's about to find out about a baby's mom, another baby's dad, where money is about to go, like, someone's lying, like, it's a lot going on here, Cancer, but I feel like it's because, again, someone's sitting in a spot, and it feels like of contentment, when in reality, you need to be going in a different direction. Like wherever you are right now, you're not meant to be there. Whoever you're dealing with right now, you're still intertwined with someone who you know is not good for you. It's a game, it's toxic. Why are we still there? And a lot of times, you know, and no, when you read this, cause I've said that before and some lady cussed it when I say she thought she ate me up, child. You never really eat me up on the internet, but if you know you can't leave a cert like different circumstances, that is okay. I have no power in it. I'm just reading the cards. So I don't want nobody to ever hear, even if I say like, why are you still there this day and the third? And you say, oh, well, I don't have a choice. I'm stuck in this day and the third. Then babe, then that's okay, be stuck. Like I'm talking to the people who know they could make a break for it. Know they could change some shit up and shake some shit up. Don't be afraid of it. If you feel like you stuck in this day and the third, yeah, I don't know what to do. I can't help you. I'm no magician. Bibbidi bobbidi boo your ass somewhere the fuck out. I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'm just here to help. Don't be cussing me out in the comments. Cause listen, all I'm doing is reading tarot cards, okay? Um, but yeah, I definitely do feel like something is going to... And I, Cancer, for you, I definitely feel like it's for the betterment, though. Like, whatever this truth is, and that's what I'm saying. If you could get out now or you could figure something out or if you know you need to be stopped talking to that man or that woman tomorrow, you better stop talking to that man or that woman tomorrow because <laughs> you about to be shown why you should have stopped talking to them a long time ago, okay? What's this hang? Um, what's the Eight of Wands and the King of Cups? You got the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, like, I don't... Mm -mm. What's the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles? Cancer, that is your energy with this King of Cups. You have the Two of Wands. Can I get one more? What's the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles? What's the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles? You have the top. Something is about to... I don't know what it's... Yeah. Like, if you're giving money to 22, can be of importance as well. Someone can have, like... Someone definitely could be... you. Someone's cheating. Giving to two people as well. Especially if you think you're giving someone you like or love money, they're giving it to someone else. They're dating it is what like yeah, and there's text messages about it as well with this eight of wands, two of pentacles. There's some sort of exchange that if you find out about it, it'll be it'll be shocking or surprising to you for sure. Someone is communicating with someone else, seeing them as well, talking to them, dibbling and dabbling. Someone is swapping juices. <laughs> 
Can you say? Can you say? What's the ten points? You got the three of cups. What's the temperance in the three of cups? What's the temperance in the three of cups? We got the ten of swords. What's the temperance by yourself? You got the eight of swords. Can I get one more? What's the temperance by yourself? What's the temperance by yourself? You got the death coming out. And you have the will of fortune. Cancer, to end it off on a good note, though, with the Five of Cups, I definitely do see whatever the situation is. Now, I'm just foreshadowing it, right? I'm hoping all the best for all of y'all, right? Mm. What's the Wheel of Fortune in the Seven of Wands? You got the Nine of Wands. I feel like, I don't know. Whatever it is, yeah, with the Ten of Cups, with the Seven of Pentacles, if this doesn't happen already, I'm hoping it resonates for whoever it needs to. I don't definitely, this may not resonate for a lot of y'all, um, cause it definitely does feel, it feels very um, specific. Um, and not even, whatever the harsh truth is, whatever you do find out, cause I definitely do feel like a friend could be involved as well. You're not gonna wanna reconcile with whomever is involved in a situation that kinda like hurts you okay or where you find out some sort of like truth all right um i definitely do feel like you will need time to properly heal um and assess whatever the situation is especially for the will of fortune i got the seven of wands the nine of wands and the ten of cups i definitely do feel like along the way you will get some sort of you will get some sort of fulfillment back for your life um, meaning like you will just become happy again. You know how sometimes when we, when we break up with people or we go through a hard time, we get a little down, we get sad, we don't want to eat or go out, things like that. I definitely do feel like that will occur, even if it, it even if it did already. Um, but ultimately, when everything is said and done, I definitely do feel like you will get back to yourself. And once that happens, it's just gonna flow for you, babe, okay? Um, but yeah, Cancer, just be aware of that. Be aware that if you are able to get yourself away or out of a situation that you know is not good for you, I would do it soon. <laughs> I would do it very soon, okay? Um, so yeah, y'all, that was the messages. That was the read. And I definitely do hope that the messages um, resonate for y'all. And overall, I hope that the messages were useful. And with that being said, guys, bye-bye.